Hello everyone and welcome back to Pebbles Pottager. Today is August 28th, 2021 and it's been quite a few weeks since I've done a garden update and mostly that's because I don't have a lot going on right now. Mostly just tomatoes and peppers. I've cleared out a lot of my other raised beds and I think uh, eventually I may uh, start some cool weather crops in there but it's been a little too hot to start any of those lately. It's been in the mid 90s a lot here in August so I may wait till September and start uh, planting a few cool weather crops but um, let's go ahead and we'll get started on the tomatoes and peppers here here is the brandywine black tomatoes and they are coming along really nicely you can see the large potato leaves here and you can see there's this is one of the carbon tomato plants that actually came through uh, the trellis there so some of the branches came through and are going up the other side so I do have some, this here is the Brandy Wine Black, and some of these over here are the um, carbon tomatoes that came through the other side there. And then uh, moving on down this way, you can see some of the other Brandy Wine Black tomato plants are still producing tomatoes. I pulled a nice large uh, one pound tomato off of this plant just yesterday. And then down here I have the Brandy Boy tomatoes. You can see they have grown quite tall. They are over the top of the trellis now. And I picked a few of these here yesterday. You can see I got a lot more left on there. Most of the tomatoes I have are on the tops of the plants. You can see here's a nice large cluster of tomatoes right here. And then let's take a look at the peppers on this side. As you know, I did have a ninja pepper plant here that just died for no apparent reason at all. And you can see I do had had some basil plants uh, on each side of those. But if you move down this way, you can see this is the other ninja pepper plant that I had. And I just pulled at least three peppers off of this. And you can see a lot more peppers are forming, so we'll probably get a lot more off of this plant and then you can see the variegated confetti peppers are doing absolutely great they always do great for me I love the colors that they have on them you can see the white variegation in the leaves there you can even see the variegation in the peppers there as well and they eventually turn a nice red color they start out nice a nice light green, sometimes turning orange, and then to a complete red color. You see, I got a lot of them on there I need to pick. And you see, I do have some basil plants coming up between each of the pepper plants there as well. And let's go ahead, we'll walk around to the other side here and check on the carbon tomatoes. Now, the carbon tomatoes have not done that great for me. I have gotten a few of them off of them. Uh, but for the most part they haven't done that great and I think it's mostly because the side of the trellis doesn't get a lot of sun so they haven't been producing as much and then the Cherokee purples down here I got quite a few here now coming coming out on the tops of the plants over here you can see some of them are drooping over so I'm gonna have to tie some of these up here but they are looking pretty good. There's a nice large cluster of Cherokee purple tomatoes there. And you have noticed that I do have some early blight on the tomatoes right now. You can see a little bit right here. But a lot of the new growth looks very, very healthy. I have some on some early blight on the uh, Brandy Boy tomatoes as well. They actually started at it actually started out on the Brandy Boy tomatoes first the brandywine black tomatoes seem to be the less affected by the early blight so far and then down here i have the islander peppers i actually have three islander pepper plants on this side and then i have one ninja plant one ninja pepper plant right here is the first islander pepper you can see they're starting to turn purple. That's the way they're supposed to be. They start out light green, then they turn purple, and then they turn a really dark red. 
And then moving on here, here's the ninja pepper. You can see they start out as a dark green and they eventually turn like a nice, nice uh, red color. I haven't gotten too many of those. I've gotten more of the Islander peppers and confetti peppers more than any other one. But down here I have two more Islander peppers. Let me back up a little bit here so you can get a better look at it. You can see a lot of peppers starting to form on there now. And they're doing a lot better now than what they were earlier in the season. So I'm very pleased with that. At first I didn't think they were going to produce very many, but as we're getting into August, they are really starting to put on a lot of peppers. And so that's pretty much it for now. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And also I'd like to say I've started some reels on Instagram. So if you have not been on Instagram uh, here lately, go ahead and look up Pepples Pottinger on Instagram. I've posted uh, at least three videos over there. So if you want to take a look at those, please do that.